everybody. If you are new to this channel, I am Jessica. Today we are going to talk about stocking stuffers. I'm going to show you what I put in my son's stocking for under $25. Now this is for a four-year-old boy, but all of the ideas in this video will be sort of general, generic, and you can easily switch these up for a boy or a girl or a different age range. So let's just get right into it. I'm just going to show you everything that I have, and let's go ahead and keep a running tracker of how much this stocking is. So to start off, I wanted to get a stocking that was cute but inexpensive. So this is the stocking we are working with. This is a $2 stocking and I got this at Big Lots. Now if you don't have a Big Lots where you live, um, places like Ross or uh, Marshalls, they also have really inexpensive stockings. And the Dollar Tree has stockings too and you can get those for a dollar. So this is what we are going to be filling up. So we are at $2, let's keep going. First of all, we have a movie. And this was a $4 movie, it was actually half off of $7.99. But Walmart and Target actually both always have bins of DVDs for like three and four dollars. So you can easily find one that your child will like. This one is cloudy with a chance of meatballs and I thought it looked cute. We haven't seen it that I know of. So the next thing is a grab and go play pack and this comes with a little coloring book, some crayons and stickers and this was from the Target dollar spot and that is a great place to find little things to fill your stockings with because everything's like one to three dollars. Socks, you gotta have socks in a stocking, right? So we have some Star Wars socks. He, my son is very into Star Wars right now and these were a dollar. There are a ton of different options when it comes to blind bags and blind baskets and Alistair is really into Shopkins so I got this one right here. It was $3 but um, these are a really fun thing to add to a stocking and you can find blind baskets and blind bags like in Legos, Star Wars, really in anything so you are sure to find one that your child will like. Okay, so on to some things that I found at Big Lots. So I am going to add one candy item to his and I got these SpongeBob SquarePants tree-shaped gummy Krabby Patties. That is a mouthful to say. Anyways, I know that he likes the original Krabby Patties, so I thought that the Christmassy ones were kind of fun and these were only a dollar. And then something that I always like to add because this is something that my mom has always added to my stocking growing up is a toothbrush and I found this cute little Batman toothbrush. It comes with a toothbrush cover and some toothpaste and this was one dollar. And then some chopstick and this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle chopstick and I know that he always wants to use mine so he can have his own now. So the Dollar Tree is another place that you can find a ton of good stuff to put in your stockings. And this year I went ahead and got him a slinky. I know he will enjoy having another so one dollar. Books are another great thing that you can add to stockings and this year I found this really cute Christmas elf wee little book. Okay so the next thing is a little puzzle and this is a Jake and the Neverland Pirates puzzle and the Dollar Tree has a ton of different puzzles. Next we have some Play-Doh. Now this actually came like in a four pack and I broke it up and uh, gave the other two away somewhere along the line but we will just pretend this was a dollar and Play-Doh is another great thing that you can add to stockings. Okay, so now we have a little shampoo. You could add bubble bath. This one was only a dollar, so I thought that would be fun to add. And then the last thing, I wanted to add something that he can play with and that he will really enjoy, and at Marshall's, I found this cute little mini Mr. Potato Head, and this was $3.50 but um, I think he's going to love this. And actually what I'm going to do since the packaging is so big, I'm going to open it up and I would just put it like in a cute little decorative bag um, just so that I can fit everything in there much easier. So there you have it. That's everything that I was going to add in for under $25, but I wanted to give you guys just a few more options and ideas and I will show you those ideas now. So we have some undies. I mean, who doesn't like to get some undies in their stocking? We have a little Hot Wheels and this was a dollar. You can always find these for a dollar like at Target, Walmart, Fred Meyer, really anywhere. So this is a great little thing to add. 
I found this cute little memory match game and this was $2 at Big Lots and uh, they actually have a lot of options for different little games and stuff so you can definitely find something that your kid will like as far as games go. This was $5 at Marshalls so this is kind of a splurge item but if you are looking you know, for something else to add to your stocking, you can definitely find some type of a little figurine that your child likes. I mean, they have a figure for every type of character. So uh, yeah, this is great. And Marshalls has a really huge variety. I don't even know if this is supposed to be a security guard or what, but it was at the Dollar Tree. And I was just going to take off the packaging and fold it up. Alistair loves dressing up, so I thought this would be fun to just add to his little dress up collection. And then if you want to decorate the outside or have something peeking through, candy canes are always a good option and they have candy canes like in every type of flavor you can think of. So I got these ones at Big Lots for $2. Okay, I wanted to show you guys one more thing. You could put this in a stocking, but also you can use this as an ornament. And this is a little Shopkins ornament, and I probably won't put this in his stocking, but you could definitely put these in stockings. And almost every store has a section where they have pre-wrapped and pre-decorated little gifts that you can give. And that will be a great option for someone who wants to make this super simple and easy and fast. So all we have left to do is to fill the stocking. So let me speed through and I will show you guys. Okay, so here is the stocking stuffed and you can see it is super full. And then I will probably wrap the top items when I am actually going to give this to him. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some ideas or inspiration for what you want to fill your child's stocking with. If you have any ideas that I did not mention, leave them below in the comments. We can have a little discussion and help each other out. And so I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you later. Bye.